In this video, I'm going to show you how to add missing tokens and NFTs to your MetaMask wallet. And this is an updated version of a video I made many months ago, but users were having a few issues. And in this video, we are going to address and answer those problems. Let's get into the content. Welcome aboard the Bitcoin Express. My name is Chase. Let's get to it. If you've recently bought or received a token or an NFT and you don't see it in your MetaMask wallet, don't worry, it's there. You just have to add it manually. And there are two ways. When it comes to more of the popular cryptocurrencies or the popular tokens, it's very simple. So I'm in this wallet right now and I know for a fact that I have Tether, but I don't see it here. So what do I do? I scroll down to add token and I will search for Tether and it will show up right over here. I will click next, add it, and it is there. So these are for the more popular cryptocurrencies. Usually when you scroll down to add token, you will find them very easily, a wide list of cryptocurrencies. However, sometimes you might add a new token or maybe an NFT and you can't find it inside of this list. For example, I'm over here on OpenSea and I do want to let you know, whenever you want to view your NFTs, all, all you have to do is simply go to OpenSea.io connect your wallet and then go to my profile and you can see your NFT. So right now I'm on OpenSea and I see I have two of these long necky lady NFTs. So let's go ahead and look in my MetaMask wallet. So I'm here in my wallet and I don't see these long neck lady NFTs. So I go to add token and let's search for it. So I actually won't be able to find it through the search. So instead I have to add a custom token and all I need is the token contract address and it's very simple to get. So I head over to OpenSea. Like I stated, I connect my wallet, I go to my profile, and then I can click on this NFT. So I'll click on this NFT and it will bring me to this page. I will scroll down over here to details and click on the contract address and it will bring me to this page. This is the contract address. So I will copy the contract address and then I will head back over to MetaMask. I will scroll down select add token custom token and paste this address and it will show lnl long neck lady nft and this is where a lot of people were getting confused in the last video for token decimal all it is is a way for you to view the nft it actually won't change what you're holding or the amount that you're holding for example nfts are usually just one or two or three you don't see nfts having ownership such as 1.2 or 1.5 so if I put token decimal for this NFT S3, this is what it will look like, 0.002 long neck ladies. But this is not what I want, right? I have two of these NFTs. So if I, for example, make the token decimal one, this is what it will look like, 0.2 long neck ladies. But as we know, these come as a whole, right? I have two, not 0.2. So for custom token, for NFTs, usually you'll put zero. So it will look like this, two long neck lady NFT. So for NFTs, for the token decimal, put zero. And for tokens like cryptocurrencies, for example, you can put maybe two or three. If you want it to be viewed as, for example, 1.3, or you're holding 1.45 of a token. So in my last video, many people followed these directions, but still they ran into an issue. They got the token contract address, they added it, but they still could not see or manage the NFT inside of MetaMask, and I'll show you why. So I have this NFT over here. This was a gift given to me by one of my favorite awesome subscribers, MauriArtsy.R. I definitely would recommend you go ahead and follow him and shout out to you. Thank you again for this awesome gift. So if I go to this NFT and I search through my MetaMask wallet and I scroll down, I don't see this NFT. So what do I do? I add a custom token with the token contract address. So I'm on OpenSea. I scroll down over here to details, I select the contract address, and here it is. So I'm going to copy this address and add it to MetaMask. So here I am on MetaMask, I select add token, custom token, I paste the contract address, and then for token decimal, because it's an NFT, I'll put zero. I select next and add tokens. Now this is where we get into a problem. So if I scroll down over here, I can see it shows zero. There's nothing there. And if I click on this, it says we had trouble loading your token balances. 
you can view them here. And if I select the NFT and I try to send it, I will just remain on this error screen. So I did everything correctly, but I can't manage the NFT. Well, let's go back and look at this NFT. If we scroll down to details, we can see the token standard is ERC 1155. And according to MetaMask, MetaMask does currently support storing ERC 1155 tokens, but does not have the ability to send them or see them in the app or the extension yet. And ERC 1155 is just another token standard for NFTs. Most NFTs are ERC 721, as you can see with this long neck lady NFT. But ERC 1155 is an NFT standard that people are starting to adopt because it is cheaper to mint and it is cheaper to send them, especially for batch transactions. So ERC 1155 NFT tokens are still in your MetaMask wallet. You just can't see them or manage them in the wallet at the moment in September of 2021. And this may change in the future, but you still can manage these NFTs. So if you go to OpenSea and you connect your wallet and then you go to my profile, right? Then you can view the NFTs in that wallet. And let's say I did want to send this NFT, even though I can't send it currently from MetaMask, I can go over here to the upper right-hand corner, select transfer, scroll down over here, enter a wallet address, and I can send it. But of course, I'm not actually going to send this NFT. I love this NFT. I plan on holding it for a long time. So this is for Ethereum NFTs. But if you've recently bought a Cardano NFT and you're wondering where it is and you're wondering how to view it, go ahead and watch this video on how to view your Cardano NFTs. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.